drinking. He just be talking. But see, right. but it makes sense later though. Like when you listen back two weeks later, you're like, I see where Cody was going with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do my That's best to tie is. everything in, you know what I mean? Uh, to make sure he don't seem like he's too far off on a ledge. <laughs> I encourage yeah. Cody. I encourage I Cody drinking. We had, we had some of our best moments when Cody was drinking. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> right, right. Uh mm -hmm. we had the 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 was it the dick segment? That was yeah. uh Dick's that was one I'll call it the dick segment. We got here oh, talking about dicks. No, no. Well, hey, it was, hey, it was, hey now. It was Wrong party. The, the wife. No, the wife was right there. She didn't she remember the uh, incident. Uh, uh, yeah, like hitting, the, hitting her in the face. Uh -huh. It was, it was. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> she, didn't, she claimed she didn't remember it, but mm -hmm. it was a pride. It was a, it was a prideful moment to me because, you know, I... <laughs> I feel like okay, oh okay, okay. Let me, you know, let me let me calm down. Let me calm down, you know. But yeah, man. It was good. It was a good time. But yeah, she's trying to monitor me, man. But it is what it is, man. I'm glad to be back with y'all boys, man. It's been it's been a, it's been I said a, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's a couple hours. They turn the days, they turn into weeks. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's been more than a couple minutes. But hey, we just happy to have you back, man. But shoot, let me start this thing. Welcome to the MVP. Oh, yeah. Man's View Podcast, baby. There we go. There you go. Book was testing you. See if you're going to hop right back in that thing and do what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm talking about? I know how it go. I know how it go. I know how it go. Man. Sometimes women who haven't even, let me give you this. Sometimes women who haven't worn a bra in so long, they forget how to do it. They go back to the beginning stages. They put on the training bra, okay? Uh huh. Yeah, I thought you forgot. So, you know what I'm saying, Roy yeah. Jones style. I mean, okay, I'm proud. Okay. So, you, so you, so you, feel, back, you feel, you feel like I went back from me uh, growing and, and and having, you know, bigger breasts to going to a training bra? Yeah, man. Yeah, operation. <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah, you want to start this all over again? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, nah, it's all good. I, I ain't doing no. I ain't like that. how these grew. Let me do it all over again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's man, get it. As y'all see, happy you here, though, brother. I'm happy you here, man. Yo, hey, man. See, I'm glad to be here. Glad as y'all see, we got the boy Cody here back again. Always MVP alumni. You know what I'm talking about? Happy to be here. Happy that he back on the podcast today. You know, the brother called me. He said, yo, front, y'all still do the podcast on Thursday? I said, nigga, we ain't saying shit. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> he said, I'm going to be on that thing today. I said, okay, okay. I ain't going to tell Book nothing because, you know what I'm saying, I don't want him to be his host to get up and then you 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 flake. So I was like, <laughs> I ain't going to tell him nothing. Just if he hop on, he hop on. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thankful okay. that, you know what I'm saying, boy, hopped on today. You know what I'm saying? Got the boy Cody. Um, yeah. And of course, like always, the boy Book, is in the building as well. What is you I mean, eating now? That's the, you know the pineapples. <laughs> you know the pineapples. These are organic. These are from yeah. Kenya. You know, <laughs> and I'm on a lot. So don't you dare disrespect me. These yeah. things go like a mud boy. They good too, huh? I've been getting some. Man. I ain't gonna lie too, bro. I've been Man. I've been trying to get the pineapples here, and um, I've I've gotten a couple of batches, but the last. Cause I used to go, I try to go grocery shopping every two weeks, but the last, probably the last month, them pineapples have been trash, bro. Like they might look like they good, but they ain't not sweet at all. Like trash, super Maybe trash. I ain't out here, Cody. The label say sweet pineapple. Yeah. Uh -huh. The label say ready to go. I mm -hmm. said, you know what? Cool. There's a little little grocery store on the corner over here. I was like, you know, I don't feel like going to a supermarket. Let me go to this little grocery store. All they do is sell FF and B, fresh fruits and veggies. I go mm -hmm. in there. I'm oh, like, you done made a, you done made an abbreviation for the shit. You know what I'm talking no, about? No, that's what it's really called. That's that's what it's called. You know what I'm saying? I, from my days out with uh, KBR, I was food service warehouse, and they call them FF and Bs, fresh fruits and veggies. Yeah. So uh -huh. I don't know if they created this, but goddamn it, it works. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Um, I go in there, I'm looking at the stuff. I'm, I'm, I was like, all right, well, I don't really want vegetables. The vegetables was looking, ah, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'm, I'm cool on those. I'm here for the pineapples. 
the sucking yeah. sweet pineapple. Okay. Yeah. I go, I look yeah. at the label, I said, Oh yeah, this busting. This 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 look right. The outside shell, phew. But you said you phew. got it from Afghanistan, right? No, this uh uh Kenya. The Kenya. brand oh, sorry, the okay. pineapple okay. itself was shipped, imported from Kenya. You know what okay. I'm saying? Okay. So okay. Knowing that this one wasn't Kenya, though, you know what I'm saying? But it mm. told me it was a sweet pineapple. <laughs> I cut that mug open. I'm like, boy, I'm super excited. Yeah. When I say not even a bit of juice came out that bitch. That nice. bitch was super dry. Yeah. I had more juice from washing it off than I had inside the pineapple itself. Is that's good, that though? Shit. No, that's not good. I threw it oh. out. I was about to say, like, yeah, I was this, like, this wasn't the Kenya one. This wasn't the Kenya pineapple. Okay, okay. That oh, pineapple bad, was bad. white. When I cut it, obviously, you can't tell, but when I cut yeah. it, it was like, it, it, it was white like a cotton ball. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I didn't understand that shit, man. But these, these is like your toddler that peed in the bed. You know, he christened that thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a yeah. motherfucker. I'm not yeah. eating piss, but it's gold like, like, like you know, toddler pee. You know what I'm saying? Hey I, man, I'm, I, I'm, I didn't mean it. That's bad depiction, but goddamn it, it's good. No, 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 because I've been missing no. me some some good pineapples, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Um, uh -huh. Bro, it's it's been it's tough. Right. I've been going back and forth from Kroger to I hadn't gone to ATB. I went to mm -hmm. Kroger and uh, um, Walmart. Of course, you can't expect nothing from Walmart, but I went to Kroger and I was I was disappointed because I've I've gotten some good pineapples from Kroger. You know what I'm saying? And so not receiving those, bro, it was it was disheartening. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, y'all let me down twice. You well, know you what I mean? So do, I, right? Yeah, I, I can't fool with y'all no more. You know what I mean? But I, I, I might be able to smuggle some in to the U.S. of A. Hey, hey. Now, I wasn't going to put it on the cast. The, the but, thing you know, is, though, ask, when you go to customs and they make you fill out your documentation, they ask you, do you have agriculture from other countries? Yeah. Are you importing yeah. food? Yeah. I'm going to say no. Okay? But no, I'm gonna don't, don't get locked up. Or don't get locked up on the account of me now. Like, no, I'm going to say, I, I, I forgot I had those. Because <laughs> they ain't going to be cut. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. <laughs> I forgot I had these. Uh -huh. You know, I just tell them a lie. Usually, I just jam a straw and then I just drink the juice. Like you can't say nothing to me, okay? So it's not exotic. It's just yeah. a pineapple from Kenya. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? My niggas hey. in America don't know what's good. You know, I trying to do the good thing here. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this for y'all, man. I'm gonna bring two. <laughs> you are gonna have to share, but I'm gonna bring two pineapples, okay? Uh -huh. Let y'all see how book is living out here, man. Y'all be like, God damn book. <laughs> Them shits is official. I got y'all. I I run with it. I run with it for sure because I need it. I need it in my life, boy. I ain't gonna Why lie you to you. Do I don't know. I got you, man. <laughs> I got you. I need it in my life. I need it in my life. Wow. Bro, where, where else could you tune in and get by ten minutes on pineapples? But then hey. you could hear. Hey, uh, hey! <laughs> if you if you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I can't talk pineapples with Francis. He's gonna be like, oh, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, eat pineapple. Now, nah, Francis, I don't care about no goddamn pineapple, nigga. <laughs> so you don't, you don't eat pineapples? Yes, I do. I eat dough, nigga. Dough pineapple is good, nigga. The can? Yeah, no, I eat about the plastic joint. You heard? But I, I would do the can. I'm not above the can. Don't I'm get the artificial all. juices. All. Get the all natural juices, and it's, it'll be fine. Some dolls are dull in comparison to this. Uh, mm, 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 right. Whatever, whack niggas. We here. I was gonna give uh, Cody the time to tell him, tell us what he been doing, but he, he kind of took that time that. on explaining about pineapples. I don't know if we see. I ain't him. been doing that. I ain't been doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, what this nigga been doing? I mean, I, I was gonna give him working. that time. We talked about pineapples for about ten minutes. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you, can skip, you can skip it because I ain't been doing that, man. I've been uh, just working, and it's, it's quarantine, so. Working and doing doing regular stuff. No, I got you. Nothing good. extra. Good shit. Good shit. Um, you know, like every week, we got shit to talk about, man. We got things What's on up? the rocket that we need to talk. get to. So let me, to out, let me pull out the phone, man. We <laughs> left off the last podcast on what I can only call as sweet potato gate. Um, sweet potato, potato gate. gate. Okay. 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 I think I. I think I see where that's going. 
<laughs> okay. This this your chance. All right, Book. go ahead. Book was real confused about one of our partners. Um, he had a sweet potato a pie debacle um, a couple years back. Come on, man. I, I <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead. You good. You good. You, go you ahead. ain't in this. We talking about I know, sweet I, potato I, pie. I know, I know. Okay, no problem. Know, go ahead. Sweet potato. He had a sweet potato pie debacle. He sent us a picture. He was real hyped about these pies. I sent them to DJ. She's been on the podcast before. DJ said, what is them shit pies? I didn't say it. She said it. Hey, I didn't say it. Um, <laughs> you judge for yourself. The picture is up there. Uh, you tell me what you think the pies look like. <laughs> well, you did the old pictures. Hey. Hey. I got the pictures. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you, you, tell, you tell me what you think that pie look like. Hey, man. <laughs> Uh, I'm, 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 I'm not I'm not gonna speak to the uh, <laughs> the, the 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 character the character of that pie is is way stronger than what it looks like I say that you know what I'm saying uh, but I don't know what it tastes like I ain't tasted it we, and none I, of us tasted it none of us tasted right. it you we strictly going off of looks right now right let me, let me and take, I know let me take that one off the screen let me write uh, that off. Let's uh -huh. see what the pies that he put he presented this year. What uh -huh. they look like. Uh huh. You can clearly see a difference between both of the pies. One is is shit pie because I didn't say it. One is shit pie. One is a, a nicer sweet potato pie. He said he he used his skills and he and he baked <laughs> the pie. I um, can't call I can't call it a shit pie, uh, but I I can say I do see the progression. Oh, it, it's de it's definitely progression, but, but progression. Hold hold up, hold up. I, I got your book. I got oh. you. I got your book. But somebody <laughs> is calling in question that this might be a patty's pie, and not. A... <laughs> yeah, nigga. that might be a patty's pie instead of a sweet potato pie made by our boy. I ain't gonna put his name out there. No, nah, don't put I, it out I, there. I think I am. Um, no, nah, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. This is this is now this is this 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 book. Book came up with this one. So book, I'm gonna let you take it. And <laughs> Thank you. I just wanted to set the backdrop for it. You yeah. Thank you. Well, uh let me make a slight modification correction right there. I didn't come up with this. This nigga came in here false flag and perpetrating. Okay. Mm -hmm. False god ass nigga gonna come in here and hit us with these pies. Okay. Nigga didn't say nothing in the message either. He just said, ha, these are my pies. <laughs> Nigga, please. I know the piece of shit that you picked the other year, okay? There is no amount. First of all, let's 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 be clear. I'm I'm gonna try my best not to say your name, okay? Um, <laughs> but I will talk about your job and let the viewers put one and one together, okay? <laughs> now you uprooted yourself from Texas, okay? Your favorite person that you wish to be is an action hero called Blue Cage. Okay, <laughs> oh, you done a uh, 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 somewhat of a commercial with you walking down the streets in California in a holy hoodie. Okay, a la Blue Cage. You work obviously in California. You are musically inclined. Your ears are Grammy worthy. Okay, you had a uh, 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 a concert in, in Dallas for uh, uh, Molly Music. Uh, <laughs> and um, that's all about I need to say. Um, uh, 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 oh, uh, segue, you did bring Joe, uh, Joseph Solomon to stage. I never knew that nigga did music. I do like yeah. his new music. I just want to point that out. Kudos to you, nigga. That, uh, they got a track called Find Me. Yeah, have you, you that, heard it? You, so you've heard his new shit? Yeah, I downloaded it. It was on Google Play. Yeah, he on it. He I do on like it. that. That EP, I do like it. So he uh, on it. kudos he on it. But now back into these false motherfucking pies. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, now, viewers, if you haven't uh, figured it out yet, uh, 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 you need to catch up. Okay. So there is no way you made a pumpkin pie. That's what it looked like. You made a pumpkin pie into a sweet potato pie. Okay, that's like as a black man, I lotion up this hand out the shower, and I don't lotion this. And, and hey, let me can let, can I interject really quick? Please he, do. He, how? Please yeah. Do. How? 
uh, where did you get the the transition of the pumpkin pie into the sweet potato pie? Well, where- as you know, pumpkin pie is darker than sweet I know. potato pie. I know. So, I, but I'm saying, did he say something like no, that? To- okay. No, that would have been his best bet to say this one was pumpkin pie. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. The one with the Papa John's crust, okay? <laughs> yeah, that nigga should have said, you know what? I made a pumpkin pie, fellas. Because got, that's the closest, I, the color wise, that's pumpkin pie. I got that's MJ. Nasty, I got MJ. Please tell uh, me something. Tell I, me I something. talked Don't to him me. a little bit and I said, okay, sweet potato pie, that looks good. And he, I was like, how you made it? Because I, you know what I'm saying? It's still kind of hard for me to grasp it. He said, he said he what he did is he, he used canned yams. So I said you made a sweet yam pie. Oh, you ain't made a sweet potato pie. Ah, I didn't know that. Yam pie. I didn't know that. So I didn't um, know that. I didn't. That, that technically wasn't everything. sweet potato. It was sweet yams. That 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 uh, that, hey, that, that, fucked, that fucked that fucked up Mexican. a lot. That that fucked up a lot. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not a person who's a violation, but I'm not no baker. I don't know. I don't know what they I don't eat. Believe it, I'm don't, not a baker either, it. but I know how my I, wife makes her sweet potato pies, and her sweet potato pies are really, really good, and they've been bought off on from a lot of OGs. And uh, it, we have, I think it was two people in the neighborhood that she asked for, uh, they asked for pies, you know, from her this year, and they, they're great. No, we're not, we're not, we're not doing that. When that's that's not because I buy I go out and buy the ingredients. You know what I'm saying? She tell me what she need. I bring it home. I I'm gonna throw a red flag. I'm like nigga, what is you like? You know, like I'm gonna you I'm use a, canned yams? Yeah. No, <laughs> come on now. No black she person told does me, that. Funny, hey, no black funny person story. does that, man. He, he just story. lies. <laughs> funny story though. Let me let me tell you funny story. It was uh, a neighbor of ours. <laughs> a, a neighbor of ours. She's a caterer. And she gave Jasmine um, two huge bags of actually sweet potatoes. But Jasmine what? came in and she told me, she was like, yeah, you know, um, you know, this person, you know, uh, wanted uh, a pie. And she gave me two bags of, you know, of yams. And that's more than enough, you know, for one pie, even if you're doing deep dish, you know what I'm saying? That's still more than enough. But she said yams. And I was like, hold on. I said, yam. I said, I ain't no, ain't nobody trying to eat no yam pie. Like, <laughs> and, she, and she looked at me. She was like, "Why well, didn't mean yam? I ain't mean yam. I mean, yeah, I'm in sweet potato, right?" And so I was like, well, "You got to specify, cause I'm thinking yams, and that's that's totally different. I ain't never had a yam pie. I don't ever want to taste a yam pie. That's not anything that I." <laughs> see in my future <laughs> hopefully not you know what i mean but uh, oh god oh, hell yeah i'm not sitting on a um almost said your name and <laughs> <laughs> hey, you did that shit on purpose <laughs> you I know, this you reminds me of when i slipped and we had to bleep out the other person yeah. name before that was completely accidental <laughs> um <laughs> but um Look, you too busy of an individual to for me to believe that you had culinary classes taught. Okay, no, you but classes. you don't need classes, bro. All you have bro, to do is get recipes. You, I'm sorry, the pies say otherwise. That nigga <laughs> needed God's hands to make that type of difference. Like, no, that's that's not it, brother. That's not. That's it. just looks. Ain't nobody tasted though. I bet he didn't taste it. No, he, he ate that pie. <laughs> A piece. A bite. Nah, that that joke good. I talked to I talked to him yesterday or the day before yesterday, and he said he ate like three or four pie. He said he ate a, a, a lot of pie. Mm-hmm. Of, of of that one day, he allegedly baked a few. I, that's what he. That's what he said. <laughs> that's what he I'm said. Right now, man, you my nigga. <laughs> and if you would have uh, presented this to me on the plate. I literally would have slapped the shit out of you. I'm not gonna lie to you because I'd have thought you was trying to kill me. <laughs> I would have tried to shoot the empire. Yeah. I would not. Nah, no, nigga. I'd have been like, Franz, hey, you, Franz, you know you lying. You know you hey, lying. You. I don't know, know what this is, lying. man. It's sweet potato pie, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. You take a bite first. It, nigga, it look like poison. You eat it. I'll, mm. I'll take a little small bite, but I ain't eating that crust, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All, all right that now. to say, all that to say, 
that people that come to, uh, I guess, your Thanksgiving gathering and they bring new dishes, dishes that they're not oh, called to bring, right like di dishes that they weren't, uh, <laughs> they were signed up for and weren't checked off for, right? So you can sign up, but you got to be checked off. So we you sign up for the greens. That. You sign up for the greens, but if people ain't check off for it, people don't want your greens type deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, this is that point. I, th I think this is that point. So somebody got to validate you, man. It, I think you got to be more than one person. I've never made a, a sweet potato pie. Now, I've made a, uh, a peach cobbler before, right? That's uh, easier. That's way easier than sweet potato, to be honest. Uh, it, it, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. No, I made it look easy. <laughs> you know what I'm I don't know where going. <laughs> I got it out this, uh, you know, my pops. He has like a dessert, southern uh, style uh, dessert cookbook, right? Okay. We had a gathering. I think I was home for Christmas time uh, during this year. And they, you know, folks is in the kitchen. They throwing down. I'm like, you know what? I'll make the dessert. You know what I'm saying? I was real heavy on my smoothies back then, too. So I was like, look, I'm going to do drinks, beverages, and, and, and a dessert. So I'm looking at the ingredients. I was like, oh, I could do this. You know what I'm saying? It, relatively easy. You know what I'm saying? But that don't mean that's how it's going to come out. I had to create my own pie crust. Even the layers on top, you know what I'm saying? I did all this shit, bro. When I say the fam enjoyed that, they enjoyed that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say it looked like the greatest creation of all time. No, I'm not going to say that. But mm -hmm. it wasn't hurtful to the eyes either, okay? Yo, mm -hmm. pa, my nigga, look hurtful to my goddamn <laughs> eyes. That's why I wear glasses now. I've looked at your pie, and I almost went blind, okay? Now, I am as... an Never made a sweet potato pie before either. I'm not gonna yeah. make, I'm not gonna make a candy yam pie. All right. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna make yeah. a pie whenever I come home. It don't even matter what month. If I come home in the summer, in the winter, I don't care. I'm gonna make a pie and I'm gonna take a picture of it. And we're gonna compare who did better with the see, first nah, pie. nah, nah. And that's not fair. To that is fair. I, I want to know, I want him to send me the same ingredients that he used. No, because uh, you ain't going to do that because if you have certain ingredients that you feel like it makes yours uh, your signature, you're not going to get at somebody else. You know what I mean? Like, you, nah, not at all. Well, and I'm so not going to say that, people, that nigga uh, want that to be his signature. We don't have to call the cops on that. That's fraudulent right there. Somebody <laughs> forced that signature. That's that's not it. At the bank, we compare signatures to your signature card. This not you, brother. You know what we do to them niggas when we got issues Lock when we up. raise a red flag? What we do? Hold on, I just gotta make sure I gotta get up. a supervisor's approval. And you know, yeah. nigga, I ain't get no approval. Nigga, call the cops, call the police. This nigga yeah. out here acting like false. Nah, no. <sighs> hey man, your pause was terrible. Uh, and your pause but this you gotta taste. Fall. You gotta taste it first, though. Like I'm saying, you could talk all yeah, this cool, shit all I'll you want to. Those. Talk, talk all the, yeah. talk all this shit that you want to, but you gotta taste it first, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to see whether it tastes you good. They be like, "Hey, and you can say, "Hey, it tastes good," but the presentation it oh, needs to be needs to be a little I bit know better." We're making you know what I'm saying? Hungry, kinda, because we talking about a whole lot of food right now. Uh, this this isn't uh, Gordon Ramsay or anything like that, or Hell's Kitchen. So, <laughs> but what I do want to say I is, did. this is uh, the last thing. This nigga so fake with his. He out here talking about he making pecan pancakes now. I'm not letting this okay, nigga get no, away. No, no, no. He doing I'll too go, much. I go, I go, I go past that. I got, I go past that. We can, we can move on to the next thing. <laughs> this <laughs> nigga out here you lying. Gotta be he lying about a lot. One. So it is, it's not just that you made these pies. Supposedly, okay. everything okay. you've been taking a picture of and sending in group me is is up for question. I don't okay. believe you need okay. more people. All right, all right. I get that. I get that. I get that. Well, shout that out to your brother. Sense. All I want to say is I do see the progression between pie one and the pie that you made this year. I if see you it made, if, if you made it, because sometimes you be capping, so I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? But he he, <laughs> he told me he used a he used a candy yam, so I believe he made it. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I got yeah. two shout outs. Two shout outs. Candy yams. God. Talk to me, man. Who who we shouting out? First, we're gonna shout out Rick Ross. Huh? Rick Ross and um he invested in something called jetdoc.com. Um, basically, it's helping Americans get access to healthcare. 
You know what I'm saying? You can do virtual healthcare visits um, for as little as $10 a month. You can speak to a live doctor within five minutes and say big on your prescriptions of medication. You know what I'm saying? They got a Jet Doc app um, you can sign up for, get, get your health under control. I think that's real dope that he um, took it under his, under his own control and made sure people was covered when it came to their doctor, their, their own self-care. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people can't afford health care and stuff like that. They're doing a lot of stuff to roll back a lot of things that gave access to certain health care. So I want to shout out to Rick Ross um, and, the, and the people that he's with uh, making that available for just everyday people so they can get health care um, and get some kind of health. Um, make that's sure they, dope. Sure that's good. dope. I, had, I hadn't heard that, Franz. I really mm -hmm. hadn't. I had to look into it, but that's super dope. Yep. He got I want to look his, more into it. He got it on his page. Make sure y'all go to Rick Ross' Instagram page. He got it on there. You guys can see all the information. I just seen it when I was scrolling. I said, that's super dope. So we're going to make sure we shout that out. And matter of fact, Greg sent it to me too. So you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Got a shout out. Right on, right on. Rose for that. Oh. Oh. Number two. Oh. Shout out. Number two goes to my wife, Kimberly Hartman, and her mama. Um, they, they created a business not too long ago, PC Consulting. Um, and their website just went active um, the other day. So if you log on PCConsulting254.com, you will see their website. If you need any um, consulting on HR um, for your business, if you need anything, if you're in the... Um, teacher frame if you need um help getting your lesson plans together anything like that you can go on and hit them up and they can go on and hook you up and make sure you you together go yeah. on their website pc consulting 254.com and they can hook you right on up and they're doing they, consulting all around they've been doing it for, they've been doing it i know that i know when yeah. they started but shoot man that's that's super dope golly they got it going on. So I, yeah. I was proud. They, they had their website active. It looks nice. looks clean. Uh, good representation of everything they got going on. So I wanted to shout that out. I think that's Absolutely. Good. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay. Anybody else got any shout outs before I move on to the topic at hand? I shout out to me to just, just being a black man, man, and, and, and dealing with what I got to deal with throughout every day, everyday life. You know what I'm talking about? You don't, you, don't know. you don't get no kudos for that shit. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I guess because we yeah. all go through it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't get no kudos for that shit. Man up. What, what right. You right. You're right. <laughs> you right. Uh, you right. Um, nah, what's up? What's the next topic? The 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 main topic that I have that I think we we need to talk about. I know by now everybody has seen this um video that went viral. Um uh, uh, owner of the restaurant True Kitchen out in Dallas, Texas. Um, you seen him using profanity at the patrons there due to we they had some girls twerking on glass in his yeah. restaurant. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It, it, everybody has so they got a lot of mixed feelings on this subject about what is going on. So what I'm going to do is let me post the video so you guys can see it if you haven't seen it. And then we'll come back with how we feel and give you our opinion. I invested a lot of money into buying this building, into developing this concept so black people can have somewhere nice to go to, okay? Somewhere where we can feel good about ourselves and think, the on, stop the music, please. Somewhere where our people can feel good about ourselves as a culture, okay? Yeah. No, no, real talk. And so all this twerking and shit, take it to prime, take it to pink, don't bring it here because we're a restaurant. And so beyond that, 75% of my customers are ladies. And I'm on men to show respect for themselves for how they carry themselves here. So how can I tell the men to respect themselves and you guys are twerking on glass here? If you want to do it, get the fuck out of my restaurant. Because I did it for our people and I did it for our culture. So don't do it now. Don't do it again. I don't want to hear it. If you don't like it, get out because I don't need your money. I need to pr provide something for my people. And don't do it again. Thank you. Okay. Y'all saw the video. Um Let's go book. How you feel, man? How you feel? What, what was your, what's, what's your initial 
things and how you felt about it after you watched that, man? So the strongest personality out this bitch first. Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I, I feel like I calm it down at the end. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. I like, go after you and then I calm it down. Usually, uh. usually we have them on fire at the end. Let me let me go reverse way this time. I like it. I like it. I like it. I you like ain't got it. the answer, Sway. Uh, yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Um, honestly, uh, you know, I think a lot of people uh, initially only saw, you know, the part of him, I don't even want to call it lashing back, but, you know, saying what he stated, you know, so it, it created a different perception than what was the actual reality. Um, however, even if people only saw that, as an owner, if you're listening to what it was that the man was saying, uh, even if it was a woman, owner but in this case it's me uh if you was just listening to what he was saying you could kind of draw your own conclusion as to what was going on up in there okay um being able to you know the the whole truth and the full video being revealed to me as it was i don't have no problems with that whatsoever well, you don't, know don't what I mean? expound on the whole thing i only got the clip of him going up Okay, um, so he was actually just there to enjoy a meal himself, okay? Um, he wasn't on the clock, nothing like that. He was there, I believe, with his own wife. Uh, they had their own table. Uh, maybe his, his child was with him, I'm not, I'm not too sure. But I know he was there with his wife for sure, and they was just enjoying a meal, okay? Um, throw that ass in a circle. Throw that ass in a circle. Came on. Okay. And how it was related to me is that, yes, they are a, um, I won't call them an upscale restaurant, but uh, a home vibe type of restaurant. Um, they play all type and sorts of music for the clientele. Okay. It's not a club, so they're not blasting it loud or anything that's, like that. That's my, that's my uh, question right there. Um, are they playing music that solicits towards our demographic? Are they playing, yes. I get that, but are they also playing music that solicits to other dem demographics? That I'm not too certain of. And I I'm not either. They cater, I'm, they favor us. Yeah. They so. Seems like they favor us, right. right. Go ahead. Go ahead. He said, I got this with my people. So I want to make that's sure what he said. That's that's what he said. But if you looked at the video, I didn't see nobody else but us. Nah, yeah. I, I saw a couple of other uh, people in there. There might have been but a lot. I let book. They count. I let book. Book finishes. They count, on. Us, too. They count us too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so that song came on, in which you know these uh, women. And they decided to uh, display their dancing etiquette, and uh, it was not a uh, wasn't the time nor the place for that. Okay, um, so it was uh, distasteful and disgraceful uh, for him to see this transpiring in his restaurant because that's not what it's established for. Okay, um, so you know the the manager or you know whoever was in charge that day at the at the restaurant you know he addressed the people and said please this is not that type of establishment we don't condone that this is not what we do here all right they pretty much ignored him they said pretty much fuck you uh even when the owner got up and tried to say hey calm that down this is not this this is my place blah 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 fuck you too was thrown and hurled at him okay well, that's when the viral clip takes off and you see his reply. So, again, you got to understand the frame, uh, not just the picture, but also a picture has a frame. OK, the borders, the outline, something that holds it together. Understand the proper context before you just, you know, comment as to, oh, he's wrong and he shouldn't be talking to people like that. There's only so many times and so many ways that you could be professional and politically correct before you have to talk the language of the people who are acting out. 
so that they can actually comprehend and understand. I, again, even without all of that, I don't have a problem with somebody standing up for what is theirs. This is my business. I don't need your fucking money. I, hey, I love all of that. But you, uh, oh, yeah. I, and, and that's why I want to interject. I want to interject really quick because yeah, yeah, baby. we do need their money. As you being a business, you need their money in order mm-hmm. for you to be successful. So let's say you said that and 60% of your patrons walked out. What are you doing in? Are you standing strictly on integrity, which is cool. I ain't got no problem with it, but you need to stand on integrity but, from the beginning to end he, of, of your business. Technically, he kind of stood on his, his integrity and his morals, and now you can't get a reservation in there. It's booked up until I don't know how long. That place is booked up solid. You can't get a uh, reservation at that place see, right now. I don't I didn't I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. know that. It's, I didn't know that. I guess people, more people agree with it like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. You but, know, a lot of times, too, like when you're in a restaurant and people are acting ignorant, a lot of us as also, you know, occupants of, uh, uh, you know, a setting, we aren't the ones that address that. We don't mm-hmm. say, hey, man, can you sit down? We don't say nothing. You know what I mean? We get turned off yeah. and be like, yo. In our minds, once we finish our, either A, we leave, or we finish our meal and be like, we never coming back here. Yeah, I see what you us to be able to see that, I think there's more folks that are in agreement and don't want to see that either. And we're happy that you, as the owner, stood up Mm. and said, hey, man, we, no, this ain't that type of place. I don't Mm. mind that. They probably can get away with that at the Waffle House. I don't mean to put that on you, but. You know, Waffle House is popping because after the club, it'd be a lot of people that go there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. that's probably more where you need to be to do that yeah. dumb shit. Not, come on, man. Like everything, it's it's you know, and people, man. Well, hey, man, I don't, I don't know. Let let me, Cody. I'll let you go last, man. Um, let people hear you last. I've been sitting on this for a little while. I have okay. a slight, I have a slightly different take than book. Um, uh, I think. Both of them was absolutely wrong. Um, right. And I believe that um, the owner, well, I talk about the girls first. The girls, they got, the guy came up to him, told him politely, hey, can, can you please stop? You know what I'm saying? We don't want you dancing on the glass. You can hurt yourself, stuff like that. Um, told him like twice before. He, even the owner came up to him like with the, with the praying hands, like, please. I saw the video, like, please, can you y'all stop? You know, you know what I'm saying? Respect yourself, kind of like chill out. They pretty much said, fuck him. Did it anyway. So he has every right in the world to tell them, go fuck yourself and get out of my damn restaurant. I have no problem with that portion of what he did. Um, they, was, they was wrong on that portion. Where the owner was wrong was the, the setting that you said that you're creating for this restaurant, why would throw your ass in a circle come on? That's why I got a problem. If juvenile for the 99 to 2000 come on, who not jumping on some ass? That's what you just, you, you play one of those songs. So why are you mad at them yeah. for getting up and doing what the songs say? I think nah, you, you, right. can talk, right. you can talk to you your right. DJ. I have no problem with you playing songs that we would like to hear, but you can't play, throw that ass in a circle and expect everybody to sit their ass down and eat. That's just not that's that's that doesn't even make sense. That's not even reasonable. Like, come on. I, I understand, I understand from an aspect of okay, this is this is an upscale kind of restaurant for us. And I do agree that sometimes a lot of black people devalue something once they find out a black person owned it. That's why she felt so comfortable to get up there. Cause I guarantee if Applebee's was playing throw your ass in the circle, I don't think she would have got up like that and started dancing on the people's shit. Then let me uh, let me. Uh, uh, that's when I was. That's that's where I want to jump in real quick. Go ahead. When a lot of people feel like it's a it's owned by a black person, it's not necessarily. I've seen uh, in my experience, it's not necessarily owned by a black person. It's owned by maybe black people, so it might be owned by five people. So it's split, right? And so y'all are splitting decisions. So you can have three people that feel like you and feel, or one person that feels like you and one person that feels like Dwayne, another person that feels like me, 
And then we have um, another person, another two people to make the five that feel a, a different way. But if they hold a little bit more weight, even having that ownership, it's it doesn't it doesn't hold as much weight as we think it is. So I say all that to say um, this might be some beyond him and beyond the ownership. You know what I'm saying? And I I, I, I see how he dealt with it. Uh, I can't say see, I would have dealt with it the same I way. I, I think you you, you assuming. And from yeah. all, all the information we got is yeah. that he's the owner of that restaurant. He has he's properties. not. I he, guarantee he's not the sole, th- th- sole this, owner. This, this, this is what's reported. Right. He is the he is the owner and he he's mm-hmm. he's a lawyer and he got money. Mm-hmm. He got he owns yeah. a lot of businesses and stuff like that yeah. in Dallas. So he said that he is the owner of that. That's what that's what we've been hearing. He had an interview on TMZ and everything saying that he was the owner. So I'm just going off of what he is, what he is. He's sitting in there. He's the owner of this establishment. Yeah. Even if, even if it is a, a, a conglomerate of owners, it I'm it typically is, bro. Huh? Like that's it's that's crazy. what I'm saying. Whenever it comes to like clubs or any um type of bar, restaurant, anything like that, it's more than one person. That it's not just one person that owns it. You know what I'm saying? And how they manage that is how they manage it, but. It could be pressure from different people and things of that nature that we probably don't know and probably will never know. You know what I'm saying? And that's the only thing I want to bring to light, too. So also think about that as well. If that makes any sense. I don't know. And I understand what you're saying, because, yeah, it, it normally does have more than one person on the ownership board and stuff like that. I just I can only go with the information that's presented. That's his shit. That's what he said. This is my shit. Y'all yeah. sit your asses down. Don't be dancing on my furniture. You wouldn't let somebody come to your house, even if I was playing throw that ass in a circle at my house. You're not about to jump on my furniture either. You're not about to <laughs> jump but on you, my shit. But I thinking. also say too, if you play, if I'm <laughs> if I'm playing throw that ass in a circle, throw that ass in a circle. Like what the fuck? Why would I be playing that music and that not be happening? You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. that's what I want to happen. So if I'm playing it in a restaurant, why would I not want, I, 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 I don't want people to jump on tables doing it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want them to go crazy, but shoot, I would, I would like for them to be in the alleyway, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Throwing it. Just, in the alleyway. <laughs> yeah, the alleyway. Just, just Some like not necessarily on the table. Don't be on the table. Please don't get on the table. But man, I, I would. I, mean, I would, and I know he's probably the same way. But when it went left, he did what he did, and I, just started talking crazy. I just and him me. talk, him talking crazy though. Mm-hmm. That was, I think that was two different versions of himself. Like I think it was him saying, "Hey, you shouldn't be doing this," because um, he quote unquote said he bought or owns the restaurant and is moving forward with the restaurant or whatever, whatever. Well, he, he, he said he want, he said when, when men come up in here, he want them to respect themselves. So True. He said, but he I also gave the ratio too, didn't he? Didn't he say it was like 80, yeah, he 20? Says about 75% women that come through there. Okay. 75. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's, that's, that's extremely. Like yeah. It was, it, it was something. It, it was, it was something. It was between 60 and 90. We'll say that mm-hmm. at least. And um, when he said that, I was like, damn, you know, he uh, he knew that it was going to be a lot of women there. And he had this song selection. Right. But that song selection brings more people in because when you have what you said, book, I said it incites that type of rowdiness and that uh, Mm. food activity. Mm. Mm. Right. So us being men. We not mad at the tour. I'm not taking offense. I ain't got no problem. I'm not. I'm no, not, I'm, I'm mad. Not. I'm mad. I'm, I'm mad. If I'm break, I, if I bring my little man in there, we're going in there for brunch. Exactly. That's we're going the in there for brunch, and it's yeah. women twerk twerking on the table. But, nah, no. Nah. But see, but Y'all see, that, that's, that's the this same thing. Hold up. Moment, this is the same uh, thing. It's just like you'll be offended that your son. I'm sorry. 
My, my, just like you feel bad that your son is seeing twerking, I would be. I would have an attitude where why would you play throw that ass in a circle when it's, a, it's supposed to be a family type vibe? Like mm. my 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 daughter is in here. Why is throw that ass in a circle coming on when she's in here? That's yeah. why I said both of them to me deserve equal equal blame because mm. every cause has an effect. If yeah. you would have played throw that ass in your circle, they would have twerked on your glass. If but, they would have stopped twerking on your glass, you would have never cussed out everybody and then motherfucker told them <laughs> you don't need your ass. So everybody <laughs> needs blame. But yeah. that's true. That's true. I, I think, but I'm not mad that's at him. For, I'm not mad at him for saying what he said because a lot of people get something, get something nice, and they don't want it, they don't want us to be in it, man. They they get it and they think black people are gonna bring the value down and they want white man, people I'm to a, visit. I hate to I hate to uh bring it back to talk about uh schools and shit like that but even with hbcus bro like uh when i first went out there to uh, fort valley state um we stayed in you know the dorms that we stayed in but then they were building like some nice ass i'm talking about super nice like really really nice um it seemed like apartments but they were you know connected to the uh, gym and so uh jasmine actually she lived in one and for them to have that and for me to go out there and see, you know, oh, this is nice. And then see people just making it super crazy because they were still tagging it, doing everything like on the wall. Like this is brand new. Like this was just built and you still doing this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That made me feel a little bit different. Uh, but with Jasmine, she was like, I knew what was going to happen. And she was like, it always happens. And that, that was different. That's a different conversation uh, for a different time. But they, man, they, they fucked up a lot of, a lot of that. You know what I mean? And it's like, why are you fucking up shit that's meant for you? Like you, you're used to having um, areas to where you're secluded and it's just you. And then you just, I guess you just act crazy. I don't know. Can't explain it. I think no it's explanation. A, it's, a, it's a bigger problem. A lot of times, um, black people, we devalue other black people's shit, man. That's just, that's just true. Well, you got a barbershop. Just like, you remember that movie Barbershop back in the day with Ice Cube. Yeah. He want, the, he want the haircut for the free. This nigga is working. Yeah. This is the business. Like, yeah. there's not no hookups in here. You wouldn't go to fucking Supercuts. And sit up there and get a bowl <laughs> cut and actual fucking discount. Because Walmart yeah. security be done gripped your ass yeah. up. You know your ass <laughs> like, it, it's just the truth, man. A lot of times we devalue our own stuff. So yeah, yeah, we do. Don't we do. It. So it, it that's what makes it so difficult whenever we um try to highlight uh what we have going on. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because People are like, you don't even expect, you don't, you don't even respect. Sorry, I said expect. I meant respect. You don't even respect what you have, what y'all have going on now. You know what I mean? And it's it's kind of hard to argue against that. Cause she you got points to where you can say, yeah, you, you're right. It doesn't look like that. So what you, what that's you a fight that we're constantly going through, man. As as uh black people. What you got to say, book? Man. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 man. I don't I don't have uh even with the points like that yeah. y'all are presenting. Like I don't have no issues with that either. You know what I mean? It's open for context and um, you know what I mean? It's not I'm not a disagreeing with anything that y'all actually have, you know what I'm saying? That y'all think when y'all analyze the situation. So um yeah, uh I, I, I can understand like if kids were in there, then yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like that's yeah, come on. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, understand. I understand. I think it's everybody. Um, how, how he put it out there, respecting themselves. Um, he, I think everybody got to respect themselves to at the end because he should have respected his restaurant enough to know, hey, DJ, don't put throw that ass in the circle here because we know it's going gonna, it's gonna to do some things. It's not going gonna, it's not gonna to give the, the right image that we want. But and, it's going to bring it, it's going to yeah. bring in. And that, and I'm sorry, and this is this that, is another that, that age group, though. You know what I mean? That yeah. it's all about marketing, man. It's all about yeah. marketing. Because if they could hear that, 
oh man, they play these hood songs. Well, I don't want to call them hood songs, but these um these type song selection. Urban, urban. In the urban. urban, there we go. Don't say urban. Yeah. We, we well, play, they man. playing the hip hop. Yeah. Yeah, 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 holding them up. You know man. They, they play them twerking songs, man. That's all we got to say. <laughs> you play they play these songs, twerk songs in here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, girl. Hey, yeah. yeah. girl. Like, yeah, they're going to hit them up and they're going to ride out. You yeah. know, and I, I don't know if there's a dress code either. They might be, I, I don't know, man. There's some things that, you know what? It's, I'm not. I've taken business classes, so a lot of the times it's about adjustment. You got a business degree. I know. So it, a lot of times it's about adjustment. You never know what's going to happen. It's about how you react to what has happened. So now that you've seen these things, you can now implement changes, uh, i.e. song selection. Okay? You can let it be known, okay, well, we, we could play certain type of songs, but the twerking category off limits mm -hmm. anything that's gonna make somebody get up and want to dance we're not gonna play that i also but, was but how, how, much, no how much money hip -hop. you how can't money? A, a shut them how down open up shop you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. how much money how, how much money are you what you can't much, play certain things but how much money are you shutting out by shutting out those certain things right and so people Man. look at it and the analytics kind of look a little unbalanced, right? Because it's like, shoot, if we still play these songs, we can make, you know, this amount more than if we didn't play it. So why not play it? You, we, we're taking a risk, but well, is it not worth? The, is it not worth the risk? Not, not if that's what you don't want in your restaurant. Yeah, yeah. If I don't want twerking in my restaurant, or you, you twerking all on the glass and shit like that, I don't want you doing that. Then I got to be, I got to be mindful of that. I can't. Yeah. Play something you got. You got to. You got to take responsibility for that too. Your property just for mm -hmm. a quick glorified moment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like or at the end of the day, that's, you don't want that. Yeah. You don't want that. But but I did respect him for telling them like, look, I made this. This is supposed to be a nice little spot. You know what I'm saying? For you to come in, feel comfortable yeah. with. Uh, respect yourself or fuck it, leave. I don't need your money. I did respect that sentiment because a lot of times people they get nervous about it. Um, I heard somebody call a radio station, talked about they hated how he took took care of it. Um, they said he'd been working in food for industry forever. And he said, um, they asked him, well, how would you have took care of it? He was like, well, I would have just called the police. And we was like, hell worse. Nah. Nah, nah, that's worse. worse. That's way that's worse. worse. Like, that's way worse. Yeah, I, I, I worse. do. I do honestly feel like. I wish he would have addressed it uh, in a different way because it was addressing our sisters, right? And so he did it the way he felt. How many fuck yous? Do you, how many, how many, answer me this. How many fuck yous does it take before you say, well, fuck you too? How many, how many can they give you, Cody? <laughs> Uh, and see, I, I, I didn't, I didn't get all those. I didn't get all those fuck yous. Like I, I didn't get that. that it, it, it do something, man. It, it, it could do something to you. You know, you could be the most polite person in the world, but nigga, ain't gonna be too many fuck yous being you hurled at you, Like man. this, with the praying hands, like please, sister, like pretty sister, yeah, get off the glass, please. You're like fuck this nigga, man, get on that glass, throw that ass in that circle, nigga. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what the song telling you to do anyway. <laughs> That's why I'm saying it's not it's not just their fault. You know what I'm saying? I'd have remixed it. I'd have played swing low, sweet chair. I would have played that. I would have right <laughs> played that you know even saying? spiritual. <laughs> yeah, man. man, but that that's how I feel about that whole situation, man. That, that's right. that was my one. Um, as far as what I had to talk about today, man. Did you have anything that, on your agenda book? That's what I had. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I got a question for people. You go. One that's what you got, brother man. What you got? Uh, let me find that bad boy. Uh, customer comments card, suggestion box. You go. Uh, okay. All right. So, let's see if this is the one. Oh, yep, yep. This is the one. All right. Because I had another one that uh, a couple, you know. We was having some discussion at work, but I like that one. 
but I'll, I'll save that one. I did, Cody. When you gonna be on again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to be on as much as I can, brother. I'm I can hold that one though. Before. That one I can hold. I actually need to write it down. I remember it now, but I need to write it down. Yeah. Um, okay. Just the I can. You know, if I tell you what the topic is, y'all might want to do it. So I ain't gonna talk. Let's just word. do it. Like, are we, are, Franz? You, you in a rush? You trying to get off? I'm good. It's still eight. I mean, it might be a steamroll thing. It's, it's just a you know casual conversation we was having. We was talking about a lot of these women that are out here um, nowadays. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's let's do it. Fuck it. Go you ahead. Go ahead. So nowadays. that that problem. I'm sorry, my brother. Your problem gonna have to wait another week. Okay. Um, but this one I think is just fun. So we was having a discussion about bad bitches and real women. Okay. The difference and the between. differences that lie in between. Yes. And we was talking about how a lot of these women, you know, we've already talked about. I definitely have spoken on how they say niggas ain't shit. Okay. Yeah. I've defended us. <gasps> you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Now it's 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 a role reversal, you know what I mean? Um, how a lot of these women and why a lot of these women nowadays are single, not because of what a man does, it's more or less because of what a man does not accept and will not put up. <laughs> so, you throwing a lot in there. You throwing a lot in there. I mean, there. it's a conversation what? we was having. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. Um, and like I said, we was having a conversation of you know what, a lot of these women rather be bad bitches as opposed to real women. Of course, of course. I'm going to let y'all okay. take that though. I, 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 I mean, what, what do you Let's consider go. like, what, what is your definition of a bad bitch? I'm sorry to use that word, but that's the, the term that they nah, use. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. And, you know, it's cool. That's how they, that's what they call themselves. Bad bitches. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, so what's the difference between a bad bitch and a real woman? Uh, Franz, you want to take it first or what? I take it, no problem. Yeah. Uh, why you? Why you were saying that? Every time I think of bad bitches, I always think about. It. And forgive me if I'm wrong, but the ones that go get like surgery, go get the tummy tucks and all that kind of stuff, to, to have the same body type as somebody else. Question that's always been on my mind. Real quick question. Um, and this is to every woman. I'm actually woman because. I don't know. Um, why do women go have surgery to look good with your clothes to, on? To look, look good? Listen, listen to me. Why do women go have surgery to look good with your clothes on, but look terrible and scarred up with your clothes off? Because you when you have when you have sex, they don't have their clothes on, and it's not dark. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. Why do you go have surgery to look better with your clothes on, and look worse with your clothes off? Well, okay. I'm sorry. That, I meant to that, say, so I'm sorry. I meant to say it's because whenever you have sex, it's with your clothes off. But and you look, the person you look worse with all these with scars you. and everything everywhere. The person doesn't see that and if you're doing did, it. Did you with, see, did you see Black China little sex tape? She looked like an ant. She looked terrible. Well, I, I saw, I saw, a I, few, don't, I, I don't, I saw a few I, flaws with I never got. I, I don't understand that shit. What you look? You look all right with your clothes on. You thinking one thing, and then you you see them like porn or whatever. They naked. You like this bitch. And that's the up. same reason it's why like, yeah. I'm in the group chat. Whenever I, whenever anybody opposes them, I say nah, it's fake. Because if it's fake, true, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't be hate on the post. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I be hate. I do. I, <laughs> Call it what it is. But, I hate on them because I'm I, like, nah, it's fake. So I know, I, why, I know why was, am I even looking at it twice? It's fake. That was that was off subject, but I always I always think that I'm like, why, I, why would you do that? I don't. I, I women comment down below. I gotta understand this. I don't understand it. Um, look good with look good when you get fully clothed, but don't look quite as good with your clothes off. Um, okay, now back to bad bitches and real women. Um, you gotta ask a, to me personally. You gotta ask a woman because I think some real woman would consider themselves bad bitches as well. Um, Hell no! You said I, what? Repeat that. I think some real women would consider themselves bad bitches as well. Okay, real women can be bad bitches. That, 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 that's, that, that's what I'm saying. I think okay, they mindset. Okay. 
Yeah. If a yes. real woman can be, I'm a bad bitch as well. Plus, yeah, I handle my business and I get my stuff done. Career driven, yeah. things like that. I got yeah. this degree. I take care of home, things like that. Yeah. It's, it's, it is. It's, um, it has a, a double meaning to it. You know what I'm saying? But it the, can. Um, yeah. But the I optics, think. It's all about the optics of how you want to perceive yourself. You know what I'm yeah. saying? If you're doing the damn thing of how you move, <laughs> I, I think, all bitch. right. That, you know what I'm saying? That's great. It's great that you said that, bro. Because uh, yeah. the difference, I think, between a real woman and a bad bitch, a bad bitch will be trying to show you she's a bad bitch. A real woman will be a real woman, and you just find out she's a real woman. Whether or not you know talking to her or something like that, you know what I'm saying? You you you'll figure out she's a real woman, but she ain't gonna be soliciting. You know what yeah. I mean? Like that's I think that's the difference. See, I, I think the difference is a real woman could be a bad bitch. A bad bitch can only be quote unquote a bad bitch. Um, I think you 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 no, because a bad bitch look, can be a real woman. I, I I don't I I think it's I think a, I think it goes real woman first. Oh. Uh, you won't call yourself a bad bitch. You call yourself whatever you want to once you're a real woman and you're handling your business like that. You call you if you say I'm a bad bitch, then I agree. You're a bad bitch. You look, you fine as hell, too. Yeah, you take care of your things. You is whatever you call yourself, Queen. You do your thing. Now, sound, a bad nigga, bitch. You sound like Webby out there. Listen, nigga. listen to what I'm saying, man. Into now, my you. Now, All right. now, a bad uh, bitch. Okay. I'm talking about one of the ones that we was just talking about. You just went and got surgery from. Puerto Rico, and you did your little mm -hmm. thing so you can look good with your clothes on, and you can take your little pictures on Instagram. You may uh -huh. look like a, a bad bitch. Yeah. Hey, that's all you is. You 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 look you look like that. You look the part. You yes, look I think a part. real woman could be a bad bitch, but a bad bitch could only be with that. You can only be you can't a bad. I think, okay, I don't think let me reverse. Let me kind of try to bring that together. A bad bitch is uh, is, is only um, <laughs> it's only what you see. That, that's how I feel. That's and I feel. a real woman is, is is something deeper than that, right? Yes, real woman is deeper than that. And then if yeah. you want to call herself a bad bitch, I accept whatever you call yourself. You right, do, you do right, your... right. Okay. I, I, I can agree with that. I can definitely agree with that because I, I would never call my woman a bitch. Not to her face. Maybe when I'm mad. <laughs> when I'm mad, you know, I'll be out call one of y'all. Like you <laughs> ass nigga. I said. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, no, nah, I think I think that's the only difference. Uh book. Um I don't know if it's any other um I don't know if it's any other answer, to be honest. Enlightenment. Um, you were talking about it. Well, all right, in, in in summarization of what I was saying to my folks is uh I told them, man, it was um I told them one the song that you need to listen to. Is by Hope, Jay Z. Okay, it's on the blueprint. It's a bonus track. Uh, it's called "Bitches and Sisters." Okay, mm -hmm. and he starts off by saying, <laughs> "Let's describe a certain female." Okay, so he starts off. The whole first verse is about what he identifies as what a bitch is. Okay, and then obviously he gets into his sister's part where it's. You know, it's nothing but heralded compliments. You know what I mean? The exception, the gold standard. This is what you should strive to be. This is what you should aim to be. This should be your focus. Bitches want to fuck your mans. You know what I'm talking about? Shit like that. So that song was was perfect. And I, I told my boys, I was like, listen, listen to this song. If you don't understand shit that I say to you now, listen to that track and you'll understand completely the mindset that I have. All right, so um, to everybody's point that y'all just said, yeah, I think a bad bitch is one that just wants to look good on the outside, and they feel as though that those looks can get them everything that they need in life without putting forth the work, the dedication, the effort, and I think that's why, yeah, you might be looking good, but you can't hold a relationship. Nobody wants to be with you. And that's why? something, that's something yeah. that you have to offer beyond just yeah. looks yeah. right so i think a, a bad bitch is just looks yeah that's it you that's are you call it that. i don't want to i don't want to say this but go ahead say it say it say it um not celebrities per se but they coined p 
people with money, they coin, you know, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. woman that they have a trophy. Right. Trophy right. Wise. Right. Okay. We do the same. Got, we do the same. You got bubble gum for brains. We do the same too, though. Yeah. So you got bubble gum for brains, but you just rushed over dope. that. Do you just do you under you understand what I just said? Yeah. We do I the hear. same. I hear you. I With hear the you. women and the women and how they choose. Because the women choose the same way and they have probably similar conversations like how we're having, right? But yeah, I just wanted I yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there real quick. Yeah, so I mean I, I look at it like that, you know what I'm saying? Bad bitches, y'all are just that, you know what I'm saying? Something yeah. fun. But you don't yeah. bring nothing more to the table. This is why you cannot keep a man. That's why you have plenty of men in mm -hmm. your life. You know Got what I'm saying? You. They Got they you. They use you for what it is they, that they want. You know what they, I mean? And I, I hate to say that men use women, but it's about how you present yourself. Now, man. also, men, we got some simp-ass niggas out here. And oh. I ain't just talking about black men. I'm talking about oh. all walks of life. We got some simps you. out here I get that you. these I get women you. who ain't even I, bad bitches like that take I advantage of. So I it's all you. about what you allow, your moral compass, your standards mm -hmm. that you have for yourself. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Your self-respect, your dignity. If you allow right. anybody to tarnish that, then that, that's, your, that, that's your business. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah. that's my definition of what I think a bad bitch is. You know what I'm saying? You here for you ain't the line. Line. You ain't you know, when you right. You ain't lying when you right. designer and how your body look and how your ass pop and how your titties sit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like Fran said, you want to look like this woman in 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 this uh, uh, magazine, mm -hmm. this shit ain't natural. Yeah, how they look that, ain't normal either. That's not regular. Yeah, don't nobody walk around with the Jessica Rabbit body from Roger Rabbit. Like, get the fuck. Don't know nobody's <laughs> created like that. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. So it's just like you 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 know you do all of this. I just be happy with yourself at the end of the day. But bad bitches, you can't tell them nothing. Um, real women, like we was talking about, I'm like, yo, those are your wives. Those are your queens. Those are your spouses. Those are your rocks. Those mm -hmm. are the ones that are going to hold you down and pull you through the fire or jump into the fire with you and won't let mm -hmm. you burn them out. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that you want. Those are the ones who show you that, you know what, whatever you go through, I'm going to be here to support you. Okay? Mm -hmm. They take care of a household, not like maids or anything like that. When I say take care of a household, you know, they elevate everybody's spirit. Okay? You can also break it. We're talking we talk shit now. I'm, I'm, I'm in my bag now, God shit, damn it. I'm in my bag. You know what I'm Go saying? Ahead. So ahead. It's, 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 this is what I feel is a real woman. Now, you know, um, we all have strong mothers in our lives. I've never mm -hmm. viewed my mother as anybody weak. You know what I mean? I see how mm -hmm. she handles the house. Okay, my dad ain't weak either. Y'all know my pop. So, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a different dynamic, you know, especially yeah. for me growing up and seeing that. This is what I did. This is what I envision my lady to be. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want nothing yeah. different. I don't want nobody that's my mom, but I see I, how a I, strong I, woman is and what they do and how they, and you I, know. And I, and I, I, I think that, uh, our envision of a, a, a woman can be slightly different than what we actually uh, get because it might not be the exact same, of but course. it might fit some qualities that mm -hmm. we're looking mm -hmm. for, like some major qualities, because you might have mm -hmm. three out of three out of four qualities, and she That's might good. not fit uh, the you know the second quality, but she fits one, two, three, and four, right? Do you meet the crimes you know here? Oh, that's that segment. One, two, four, uh, three, and four. Whatever. Oh, one, three, and four. Whatever. Yeah. But um, she she's a little bit. Uh, Jasmine. <laughs> she's a little you don't bit too much. She's a little bit for sure. For sure. <laughs> Absolutely. But that's what you need. Yeah. Because that's gonna give you what you need. You know what I'm saying? And it's not necessarily you understanding things because you're not gonna understand shit. As a man, we're not gonna ever understand shit. We're just gonna have to adjust continuously. If that makes any sense, or do I need to call Jasmine? 
<laughs> but um, we, yeah, go ahead. Um, I just want to make, I guess, one thing um, known. If I still think a real woman can have surgery if she wanted to change something about herself. Um, mm. If she wasn't all the way um, comfortable with what she had, like say she had a baby and then her titty starts sagging and shit like that, she wanted to get a lift. Or, I mean, even if she wanted to add new ass, or I don't think a real woman could do that. I mean, I, I would rather you be confident in your own body. I just have the question of why sometimes you get all that surgery and you look scarred up worse than what you did before. I well, no, because if, if you say they're doing a, if they're doing that surgery, then they might possibly get scarred up. Yeah, they get scarred up, but that I mean, if that you if they feel better scarred up, then I mean that's on them. Because if I wanted to do yeah. something, you can't nobody tell me what to do. That's on me. Yeah. But I don't yeah. want it to be like I'm saying a, a real woman can't have surgery. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, oh no, yeah, I wouldn't. Like okay, so I, I, didn't, wanted I didn't make, mean, I just I wanted to make that clear. Over. Like, I feel like a real okay. woman. If you want to have surgery, and that's it. You gonna you stand on your own. But my only thing is, like, even with the surgeries, um, I don't not condone them. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just ah, I'm fucking. How you're born is how you should look. If your titties flat, they flat. You know, I'm I'm not one of them type dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you have to live your life. And you have to get through your life feeling comfortable about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, feeling happy when you wake up every morning to look at the person that you see in the mirror. So if you see a flaw. Well, shit, but we don't get balls lifts. That you don't we don't get accept. balls lifts. Do we get balls lifts and all that shit? We don't. No, they let them hang. Let them personally, hang. but I'm pretty sure somebody got their balls lifted somewhere. Yeah, they do <laughs> stuff. They do, <laughs> do stuff out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. They're okay. Okay. And, <laughs> You know, I. All right, maybe. <laughs> what I'll say is, like I said, man, you know, it's one of those. Sometimes, yes, you get the operations and things like that. And of course, you don't get them at an old age or anything like that. Like um, a lot of older women, I would say maybe in their 40s, they do uh, the rejuvenation. You know what I'm saying? That's That's their thing. Uh, you know, they get their walls rebuilt, touched up, you know, just make it a little bit younger. You know what I'm saying? Because it might have been through some things. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? They yeah. might have been some bad bitches without the ops back then. Yeah. And, you know, it just got a little bit of wear and tear, got a little bit of mileage on it. So they want to get it touched up, you know, get their tires rotated, get that oil changed, <laughs> a new transmission, get a new engine built. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it still yeah, don't yeah. run like it did when you got it, but it's new. You know what I'm saying? They get the job done. So a lot of the older women, they 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 go that route. Um, you know, obviously the younger women, the 20s and the, the early 30s, they, you know, accentuate certain features of their body. Um, my thing is, yeah, in the moment looks incredible. I want to know how you're going to look when you age. Mm -hmm. Breast implants, like okay, yeah, them bitches is perky as hell now. So now what? You gonna have them just taken out to go back? Like I, this is stuff that I'm thinking about. You know what I'm saying? It's just random yeah. thoughts. You no, know, I, 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 big old I, I boobs just, that get I done. Just, like, how does that age over time? You know what I'm saying? From uh, implants in the ass to uh, fat transfers, like, what does this look like? You know what I'm saying? Is your booty going to start to look like a deflated basketball? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's crazy. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm hoping for oh, all you women out there who have had these procedures, y'all take that into consideration as well. You're right, though. But as, as, as men, we have to just uh, console everything, right? Man, I'm... Man. I, I, I believe we should console everything. Well, okay, put it like this. If you are if you was with her, you know, I, I say her because we're talking about women. If you was with her when she did this, obviously you had some input. Okay. And if it was done, then you was in agreement to a certain right. extent. To a certain extent. Okay. But again, in the moment, I don't think no man is thinking about 30 years from now how that piece of ass gonna look or how them titties gonna look. You know what I'm saying? The titties might be fine. Oh, you got big titties all your life. I, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Them might not deflate. 
but depending on what type of ass you've done, it might look a little wet. You know what I'm saying? No, they, you they, they, they do they do deflate and it they do change uh over oh. the 30, 30 years. But I'm just hey man, I get gravity, what you're saying, man. I, they say probably time but the gravity is too. I think we I think we going <laughs> on. What changed you to see deflate, man? <laughs> uh, I'm not talking about it, man. I've been a happy <laughs> married man for <laughs> 10 years now. <laughs> so I, I'm not speaking on that, but I will tell you that it is true, <laughs> and um, it's been proven. So there's, there's a lot of things that people should take into consideration. So bad bitches, you know, before you Correct. get all these procedures and you want to be that type of woman, you know, yeah, you living in the moment, enjoying yourself, turn that all that bullshit, throwing your ass in a circle, you know, that's cool. To think about 20 years from now, how that's gonna look on you, you know what I'm saying? So. I'm all for you doing something, but make it, you know what I'm saying? Make it tasteful. Make it classy. You know what I'm make saying? Make it don't taste. Taste. I hear you. I hear you. Make it tasteful. Like, make don't, it classy. Don't go overboard with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's the stuff lie. that's crazy. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. I hear you. I hear you exactly when you're saying that because it's certain ways that you you can twerk, but it's certain ways you can twerk <laughs> to where it's more tasteful than um, what we traditionally see so <laughs> yeah you ain't seen you ain't seen no, you ain't seen no clean twerking <laughs> clean twerking <laughs> yo man thank y'all for tuning in man yo what, what y'all got man before we get up out of here <laughs> Clean twerking, man. Y'all show me, y'all show me some, show us some clean twerk. Oh, uh, don't, don't, no, don't show us. No, no, it's clean, so they can sit it through. So no, no, twerking. don't. <laughs> I'm not trying to get in trouble. Don't show me no clean twerking. Send I've seen it before, but don't show me. me. You don't talk about. It. Send, send it to front. Man, send, send the front at yahoo.com. Send us all your clean twerking videos because. I haven't seen clean twerking yet. I wanted to see this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what you got, book? Uh, another band just uh, ready for the NBA to kick off. It's going to start in about a week, man. Mm-hmm. So uh, preseason. I'm excited to see what Kevin Durant's going to look like, man. I'm not going to lie. Um, game has missed him, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, not to the Nets, but I, I want to see Kevin Durant coming back into shape, into form. Um, shout out to your Lakers. I see you got the, you know, whatever. Um, um, yeah, big moves by y'all. Uh, I, and I will say now I have you guys as the favorite. As long as everybody stays healthy, I don't care what everybody else does. Um, and shout out to, uh, you know, Houston and Washington doing their trade. So, uh, big ups to Russell Westbrook. That's my guy. Why not? <laughs> Uh, hopefully he can um, turn the capital around, you know, because I like Bradley Bill. I think, you know, I don't think they're going to win-win, but, you know. Um, and even for you H-Town representatives, uh, we're going to see what John Wall looked like coming back as well. So uh, I hate I hate to see uh, uh, Westbrook leave. Yeah. God, but I don't know, but y'all got some centers now, so maybe y'all will get back to real basketball, not this, this – uh, yeah, I don't know what y'all are doing. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why y'all lost, man. Y'all didn't have nobody. Your tallest person six seven. Fuck out of here. Who you going to be? <laughs> Shit, man. So I'm, I'm just excited for the NBA. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's about it, man. You know what I'm saying? Blessings and prosperity to everybody who tunes in. And even if you don't, you know what I'm saying? Take care of yourself. Oh, also, I wanted to say Russia is also administering uh, the vaccinations. Um, they president. Putin is out there saying, no, unless you do this, you're going to be on lockdown. You can't come outside. So, yeah, they are – they they putting it out right now. They 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 have already begun, um, like I said, giving them shots. So uh, I'm glad they started so that we can see how they react. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to see. We're going to see. Let's Europe see is doing the same as well. So we're going to see. Let's see if these niggas turn into zombies first. You know what I'm talking about? I'm the boat. Um, Cody, you said you was good? You got anything you want to say before we, we close this thing out? Oh, no. Nah, I thought we already closed it out. 
Yeah, he good. Okay, yeah, okay. no problem. No problem. No problem. I'm ready. I'm ready to lay it down now. Yeah, I know. Thank you, Cody, for sh- for showing up, man. We appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, book yeah. as always. Thank you for being on, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the podcast. Uh, make sure you click the like button and the bell so you can get all the notifications when we drop. You know what I'm talking about every week. Thank you. We appreciate it. It's been MVP. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace. Pray for me. Pray for book. Do everything I can.